Hello. Um, I realized the barrier to entry for new people wanting to have a play with M Collective is pretty big, so I've made some um, Amazon based demos. Um, I quickly want to show you how to start them up, how to use them, and um, yep, you, hopefully you can easier figure out whether or not you like M Collective. Um, first of all, I'm running this in the EU West availability zone. Uh, you need to start your instances there because that's where the AMIs are. Um, we need to set up a security group for these machines. Um, I've set one up here and really you need to open port 226163 and AT is optional. I've just have it there because I'm going to need it for the demo. Um, 6163 is the port that ActiveMQ and Stomp talks over. Um, I've separated the demo out into two types of server. One is the main server runs ActiveMQ um, and the client libraries and the others are nodes. They just are nodes, you control them through the through the main server. Um, it's only this one type of AMI, two roles. Okay, so you can go find the AMI, community AMI, just search for M Collective. Um, should only be the one. Okay, this will be the main node, so we're going to launch just one. We'll put it in the A zone. Um, control the roles through some data, user data. Um, these actually turn into facts, so you could you could do, do anything here. I mean, I'm going to go see. Um, so we can add some more later on. Um, We're going to start one of these because, it, well, there's only one, and we need to first bootstrap it by hand to start up the ActiveMQ instance, the M Collective instance, and it will give us some user data for the rest of the demo. Um, okay, there we go, it's starting up. Um, I'm going to pause this here and come back when it's done. Okay, um, our image has started. Um, we are going to need to log into it to bootstrap the, the first server. Um, let's get this IP address and hostname here. Okay, when you log in, it gives you some um, help of what to do, where to get more information from, and all we need to do really is um, run the start script. This generates unique key phrases. Unique pre shared key, configures up the active MQ, configure up the M collective, and um, starts it all up. Now, you're going to need this user data here for the rest of the nodes. So, copy and paste that into your ping buffer, uh, copy buffer. Um, you can see that it's all working. Uh, run an MC ping, you'll find just the one machine there is fine exactly as expected. Um, now we're ready to launch some more instances. We're simply going to launch more of the same. The only difference will be the user data. First we're going to start five in the A zone. Okay, pass it some more information here. And um, we now have 11 total images. Uh, we can go back to our console here. Um, if we ping them, I'm just going to drop the time up to one. Um, we can see there's 11 machines. Now, I'm using Reductive Lab Factory here to take in the EC2 data and the metadata, the user supply data, um, into facts. So, for instance, these are all of the EC2 data provided. Um, here's an interesting one the availability zone. If I look for the facts of that, you can see we've got machines in the two zones and how many. So in this demo, I'm just going to set up Apache on the machines, start it, stop it, restart it, um, and do a little bit of network load testing, um, ah, checking whether the status of the machines are okay. Now. We want to do, like I said, incremental deploys. So we're going to do with fact. If 
probability zone equals the first one. Um, and just to make sure, um, we don't already have a patch on these machines. Okay, we can install Apache on these machines. It takes a bit. Yum is probably building caches and so forth. But again, you can see it's going to do six machines only. And there they go. Okay. we have a look at the um, status of the web servers you'll see they're all stopped if I take away the fact they're all stopped because the others don't even have it installed now I can start it on these and if we have another look at the status They're running and stopped and running and stopped. Okay, and you can see six are running, half are stopped. Um, the progress bar display you see in here and this kind of, especially here, I didn't see a okay message for every single host, and that's quite a key concept because if you have a thousand hosts, a thousand okays have no purpose. It'll only show you things that's wrong. Of course, when you're actually asking for status. Well, then you do want to see it all and the report, and, and so that's what I showed you. Okay, um, now let's assume we've not just installed Apache, but maybe we've upgraded a, a piece of our software stack because that's more likely what you would use in Collector 4. You, you'd deploy using Puppet or Chef the web servers, but you'd upgrade packages and so forth using mCollector. You'd definitely want to know whether the load averages on your machines are done a download to expected level prior to let's say enabling them on your load balancer or prior to deploying Apache to the rest of the machines so what happened here is I called the NADGEOS NRPE check load check on machines in this availability zone and they're all okay okay now we're now we're good we can upgrade the other half of this of the platform. There's only five machines there, and it's simply running through the same process. Um, here we go, and we can start it up. And maybe we'll get a status of the service for the entire cluster. All is running. And we can check the load again on, on B. Everything's good. Now if we go back to the um, page, well, very exciting. It's just the, the CentOS test page. but. What you see here is at no point did I need to know how many machines there are, how many hosts I have, what their host names are, anything like this. It's all by metadata and it's perfectly suited for cloud environments but applies equally extremely well to non-cloud environments um, thanks to the use of factor and we can use OHI um, or, you know, or you can provide your own data. Um, or even your own plugins to provide facts. Um, okay, that's more or less it for the demo. Um, you can use these machines, start as many as you want, have a play with them. They'd be very good for testing your own agents. And um, yeah, I hope you're, this has piqued your interest and that you take the time to install Inclector from your own machines. Thank you very much.